one of the things that uh, people also complain is a talking behavior based noise not just machines and oftentimes you know we see these posters to try to make people quiet but it's not very effective we notice that noise causes stress the stress can also cause noisy behaviors in, in us when we are stressed out, we are less mindful and we get louder, we slam doors, it's, you know, we just get louder. So as we try to bring down the noise in the space, can we also help reduce the stress level of those hospital units? One of the things that we implemented in one of the hospitals in the US is a called Tranquility Room. This is a relaxation space within a hospital facility where caregivers and hospital team members like nurses and doctors can come and take a moment to relax from all the sensory and emotional overload of the hospital units. And the, we discovered that especially when clinicians have an incident of patients dying, Oftentimes, they don't really have a physical space they can go. You know, they have to take care of next patients. In, in some interviews, we heard that um, those clinicians go to the toilet because that's the only place they can be alone to cry. And once we implemented the space, we had stories that clinicians were able to use the space to process when the emotionally troubling event happens, that they can use the space to process that. So, so I hope space like this uh, can happen even outside the hospital setting as well. To promote a culture of quietness, first we have to care for people who care for other people. I believe quietness starts from within and from our own tranquility and mindfulness inside. Mm -hmm.